Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani. Welcome to Study IQ. In this the Hindu paper analysis video, uh, these videos are coming in Hindi and English language both in uh, morning and in, in the evening. The PIP videos they are coming. So please do not miss any of the lesson. And in both these lessons, we are discussing important MCQs and covering the and, uh, the very important portion of the current affairs. And it will be extremely relevant for the prelims examination this year and for the later examinations also. 16th May it is, and let's start the. Lesson. These are the numbers there you can call and you can ask for these pen drive courses. And this is the Study IQ's website where the chat section is available. And all these important uh, courses are available, created by experts. And 60% uh, uh, off is also going on. An ultimate motivation. The Kami Rita Sherpa, 23rd time, he has uh, reached up to the summit of world's highest peak. That's Mount Everest. You see, 23rd time means even for uh, for a single time people are so afraid and conditions are so harsh oxygen levels are so low at the, at that height temperatures are in uh, a minus uh, category and unbearable things are there people faint there and once they faint once they uh, become unconscious then they are surely dead at that place so so many fears are there and uh, hollywood movie is also made on this uh, everest summit and uh, you see they are showing in that movie that how difficult is that thing but you see the courage of Kami Rita Sherpa 23rd time he has reached up to that summit so what drives that kind of a uh, person what drives uh, uh, that kind of a courage it's all positivity he is not thinking about all those factors which are haunting people it is only thinking about those factors which can take him to the height he is thinking about the uh, the health issues uh, with him he is thinking about the record that he would be making he would he is thinking about the inspiration that he would bring for many many people who are afraid but they will uh, go again and without fearing about those uh, factors 23rd time it's a huge huge thing in the same way you should approach your goals and your life also in the same time you can think about all the fears in the same time you can think about all the solutions which can take you to the success so this is the way and this is the approach that you should follow there so nothing can be bigger than that these are real life examples and people are making these impossible things possible why cannot we just consistent effort and this positivity is needed put the courage factor on the automatic mode never decide about your uh, courage always you should put it that it would be there and automatically it would be there you should not uh, uh, drive your courage factor manually it should be automatic question one service trade restrictiveness index yesterday we discussed about that oecd released this index where india protested a lot about that india's smallest orchid has have been uh, discovered in uh, assam that is correct but it is not unique and endemic to this area because it is also found in the countries like japan and other uh, uh, eastern countries so only one is the correct answer and only uh, the two second option is the wrong one Uvika, it's an important mission by ISRO. ISRO has been talking about it for months now and it is accepting first batch of students, school students. And it's a very important and dire need today that students who are getting distracted by these political propagandas, campaigns and nonsensical things and they are capturing their minds. In this time, it is very, very necessary that scientific temper is developed among their uh, minds and they are much interested in these uh, science categories like space science and all so here it would be a residential training for all the all these uh, school students and they will be visiting all these isro facilities and all so uvika 2019 by isro so this is the answer c is the answer novak zokovic he hails from serbia not from spain okay and he has won men's single title in madrid, madrid open tennis Till now, he has won all the championships uh, in the Madrid uh, city and first statement is correct and second is wrong because he's from Serbia and he hasn't uh, lost any tournament in Spain. That is correct. Only one is the correct answer here. First country to be declared to declared climate emergency. I told you about that. It's UK. Second is Ireland. They are talking about it and New Zealand is the country which brought out this uh, first uh, inclusive budget regarding the issues of poverty mental health and the other uh, excluded sections issues and uh, these are great examples in the world today where all the negativities are surrounding the countries like china america they are putting all kinds of negativities in the world environment but these countries they are uh, doing something good here so that's appreciable 
नेक्स्ट दीज आर द वर्ड्स टूडे दर आई फाउंड एंड नाउ अबाउट द फैक्ट्स चाइना ब्लॉक्स विकीपीडिया विकीपीडिया इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेल्प फॉर करोड्स ऑफ पीपल इन दिस वर्ल्ड चाइना हैज ब्लॉक्ड इट इन ऑल द लैंग्वेजेस बिकॉज मेनी मेनी थिंग्स मेनी इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर अवेलेबल हियर एंड इट शुड नॉट बी approachable for the chinese people that is the uh, effort by the government and you see it's it's a arbitrary move because already uh, they banned some uh, uh, informations regarding how to protest in a democratic way against the government so all these things are not accessible to the chinese public so this thing is criticized heavily by many many uh, people there and the international community also but china's ways are somehow arbitrary many many human rights issues are also going on but uh, china goes in its way and you see they are celebrating their 670th anniversary of uh, founding of the people's republic of china in 1949 means the time when india got independence in the same time it be became the republic of china and china was also dealing with many many issues but where china uh, today is and where india today is that's to be discussed and to be thought about but certainly some things are really negative progress is there but some issues remains there so if we talk about the happiness index then it would be far behind next tra unveils ai tool to improve the tea quality um, uh, some days ago we learned about the coffee board of india which uh, is using blockchain technology for the marketing here the tea research association it is introducing artificial intelligence you see uh, they are uh, dealing with the fee fine leaf count and that's the main issue where they select batches so that the best tea can be selected and that can be exported so tra plans to harness frontline technologies based on ai and so that these chatbots and sensor based machinery they can recognize the best lot among the leaves so this is a very uh, progressive move and for the tea tea and for the coffee both we are uh, experiencing that uh, they are focusing on the scientific development so that's a very nice issue because many reports were there regarding the human rights issues where these uh, workers are working for more than 18 17 hours so it can be a great relaxation for them but it is not a guarantee because uh, nobody knows whether their employment would, would also go and uh, uh, these machines when they will be selecting these best things which are done manually by these workers that would be a different change tokolai tea research institute that was established in jorhat assam okay it's a very important city in assam in the eastern assam and in 1911 it was established and in 1900 the ita the traders association indian tea association and the important association for the traders of the tea who are mainly exporters in in this country uh, that that body got established and in 1964 this tra tea research association that was established and it got a boost uh, for this research area and this uh, tea exporting and the production of it so that's important they may ask you about all these uh, details next us orders staff to leave iraq embassy there is a tea board of india in uh, also the headquarters there in kolkata and coffee board of india is also there that's headquarters in bangalore us orders staff to leave iraq embassy due to ongoing escalation between india and iran now america fears that iran may inflict some troubles on the embassies and the personals so maybe it is a move to defame iran more and more every day it is releasing these kind of statements against iran and now these allegations that iranian intelligence agencies and all they are uh, thinking about uh, some uh, negative steps here and they may put all these people in danger so us is uh, uh, saying that uh, the staff would have to leave from iraq embassy that was opened in 2009 in baghdad baghdad is the capital of iran iraq and uh, uh, the iraq officials are saying that nothing is uh, sort of this is true but america is insisting on this so the statement was released by john bolton the national security advisor of america and he issues a statement warning against any attack by the iranian military or the proxies against us interest or allies so that's a cause of concern because the escalation is continuing and it may bring very negative phase in the world affairs next a very uh, an progressive move by a progressive state of america alabama passes toughest abortion bills a bill in us doctors who terminate a pregnancy even in the case of rape could be jailed and you you see it's a, it, it is inviting a lot of criticism because it is not a progressive move because you see abortion is not a thing of uh, uh, choice or it's not a thing of uh, their uh, ethics it is about the emergency conditions sometimes 
whether there are the cases of rape or the incest cases where uh, uh, due to some uh, accident or due to some uh, uh, enforcement due to some uh, these uh, cheating and all the girl or the women they get pregnant and they cannot take the responsibility of the child so science has moved a lot uh, towards these uh, solutions but the debates are go going on because these are the ethical issues and these are also uh, being discussed in india also in whole world these capital punishment issues the abortion issues they are being discussed that these things are not natural so we have this right or not but you see these conditions are emergency conditions so that is how it is inviting a lot of protest from the uh, females community and that's for obvious reasons because it is not uh, regarding any law it is regarding the choice of a woman whether she wants to give birth to a child or not next illegal photocopying of documents is a theft supreme court now says citing an important case of bidla corporation that if somebody uh, photocopies your documents without your permission then that can be declared as a theft under 377 78 uh, section of the ipc and that's really a thing because these days many misuses can be there for your aadhar document for your uh, security uh, so, sorry your secure documents or your property documents so anything if it is there as illegal photocopying of that then it's not a legitimate thing next after 29 years the ins uh, in icgs it is not ins i'm sorry ins is indian naval ship it is indian coast guard ship coast guard is a different uh, category so this coast guard ship vigra is uh, decommissioned after 29 years in uh, 1990 it was commissioned and it has uh, done a commendable job here a very important uh, issue of uh, coastal security that was maintained by this the truck ship ship and now it is decommissioned so they may ask you about the detail a shocking incident in the mathura village of pila pisa pisawa uh, there a girl was mauled by dogs and you see the villagers they are putting this blame on the policies where during these cow vigilantism issues many fears were created and now nobody is ready to transport any kind of flesh or the dead body for any kind of uh, animal or something because many many issues are out of hands and you see these dogs they have now cultivated a habit of eating the fresh flesh of these uh, dead animals and all but now these are not much available and uh, they are not accessing the meat as they were accessing in the past and one more thing is that the transportations are not happening so because of that they cultivated this habit because they used to throw these carcasses on the vicinity of the villages and though these dogs they used to go there and they used to eat that flesh but now sometimes when that is not uh, available then these dogs they are becoming aggressive and now they attacked a girl and they just uh, thrashed and mauled this body of a little girl a 7 year girl she was uh, heading towards uh, uh, their uh, field where his father was working so she was taking the lunch and she was mauled by these aggressive dogs so it's a really cause of concern nothing can be worse than that if the dogs which are living in the vicinity they cannot be declared as the wildlife animals so there are no protection or there are no uh, restrictions restrictions of any kind but certainly this is a responsibility of the authorities that they should take care and uh, regular vaccination and the uh, uh, observation should be there but this is happening and leave about the villages it uh, think about the cities the main city i'm living in delhi and this ncr region full of dogs every street you will see five six dogs and they are chasing people and they are sometimes attacking people and there is no cure and these bodies they are very much apathetic to these issues we are discussing anything everything but these crucial issues we are not discussing that's uh, a real cause of concern for the society as a whole and the administration issues also next now about the articles it's a political one we will not discuss it's again a political one we will not discuss we will discuss this article we will discuss this article it's a very important one for the gs paper 2 and uh, uh, one also it is regarding the restraint on the judicial activism and uh, this issue remains again the same regarding the judicial overreach and some misuse of some provisions and some failure of the administration by the police and all and by the authorities and uh, after that supreme court also made a some kind of a mistake there so we will discuss both these articles combinedly important for gs paper 2 and it is talking about the australia's elections climate has become a very important issue there and uh, other important uh, uh, 
ups and downs are also going on the way they are going on with all the important democracies in this world and everyone wants to retain their authority so this is regarding that not much important for us and uh, again it's a political one so we will not discuss that this issue is important for gs paper 2 and 3 it's a security issue also it's about our activeness in the ocean regions and our navy has been uh, involved in many many exercises and it's a very important need today and we have been very active here so it's a commendable job that our navy is doing there now more of the freedoms it is regarding the bjp ua morcha functionary it's a case where priyanka sharma was arrested and on what grounds because she uh, circulated a particular morphed image of mamta banerji and she became furious and she demanded apology from that uh, uh, lady and she had to apologize for that because yesterday we saw a different angle now today we are discussing a different angle both angles are to be discussed because what is right what is wrong we cannot say because ultimate authority supreme court decides about issues sometimes and when the court says that uh, she has to apologize then the scrutiny is invited there and uh, these people are criticizing these move here yesterday we saw that uh, supreme court said that if mamta banerji would not have said anything then it was okay but now she is demanding an apology because it is a kind of insult for her and she is uh, taking this offense and she has become in, uh, furious about that issue so it needs some apology here and she has to say sorry for that maybe uh, there is no punishment for that because it's a issue of freedom of expression and many leaders are mocked like that but when she is uh, furious about that issue then uh, certainly it's an infringement of the mamta banerji's right so that's why it became legitimate to apologize there but to force uh, her uh, to apologize it's not legitimate in some grounds on some grounds and uh, uh, this is given here in this article it it says that it's a reflection of the level of acrimony between the ruling trinamool congress and the bjp this uh, this issue is going on and, and, and what not we have seen in this case of uh, pashchim bengal versus bjp they both are attacking each other both are producing uh, statements both are producing evidences that uh, they are uh, defaming us and the other party is saying that they are it's it's a plot and it, they are just uh, involved in some kind of uh, plot against us that they want to defame our rule and the other party bjp is saying that uh, mamta banerji is uh, ruling in a tyrannous way so both things are political one so we cannot comment on those things but certainly here some aggressiveness was shown by mamta banerji because many leaders in this political time these things are common and uh, freedom of expression is at peak so she should not have gone with this uh, uh, apology demand and this uh, reasonable restriction on that issue but you see this has uh, happened and uh, when uh, uh, they arrested her and uh, after uh, uh, the, the, the day supreme court decided that it's arbitrary and it is not okay but she has to apologize to mamta banerji because supreme court found it legitimate that uh, some apologies needed but you see this is the case of mamta banerji and a uh, popular aggression against her and uh, uh, by the bjp supporters and all but you see one more issue is uh, very relevant here we have seen in recent years many many animated videos and they uh, normally we see uh, them on uh, some news channels like uh, aaj tak and all we have seen many many animated uh, animated videos like that they are uh, comedy videos but certainly they are somewhat indicating some issues there that some particular party is supported always and the other party's leaders and all they are mocked heavily and they are joked in a sense that uh, maybe these things are comedy and these these things are for the people's laugh but psychologically they are biased they are not balanced in a way and they are mocking more these opposition leaders and all so these things are also to be seen here if we are uh, looking at those issues then uh, those things are also making a background here because it is all the issue of uh this uh, uh freedom of expression and that is also expression and this is was also an uh, ex expression and when mamta banerji certainly overstepped here and supreme court was also wrong in a sense according to the article that the apology was needed because already some things are happening but you see in a way they are happening in a particular uh trend uh, uh, these things are happening so these are cause of concern and in the political uh, mood overstepping should not be there these things should be uh, maintaining some decency political campaignings should be maintain maintaining some decency but all lines are crossed these days and maybe uh, uh, a personal issue uh, would be there but uh, here the writer says that it is not good from the 
point of view of uh, restriction on the freedom of expression and supreme court is wrong here in the next article in the same issue this thing is said that article 19 guarantees the freedom of expression but certainly reasonable restrictions are the issue so it's a very important question of means or in the essay also you may write a lot about the freedom of expression and the reasonable restrictions there and when it is in about the infringing the uh, rights of someone and at one side there is a expression issue then how do we balance that issue and where is the line that should not be crossed and uh, where is the issue of uh, a punishment or the apology uh, stands there here in this article writer says that there are two issues for the supreme court one is positivist jurisprudence and one is sociological jurisp uh, jurisprudence positivist says that center of gravity of the legal system is statutory law and supreme court uh, is a very important part of judiciary and this jurisprudence should be limited to the statutory laws laws are created by parliament and according to that supreme court interprets them supreme court has the responsibility to interpret the constitution also it's a guardian of constitution also and it's a guardian of uh, uh, rights also so uh, these things are fixed in the constitution and these are well established so according to the interpretation only supreme court should be limited in this in its sense and these judges they should not behave like activists so there must be some restraint on the areas of sociological jurisprudence because sociological issue says that uh, natural law is important and under this umbrella of natural law any, anything can be decided and you see there is a specific provision uh, specific appeal provision of the supreme court also where it can decide about any case in this domain so there are some blurred lines where supreme court is moving away from the positivist limitations and uh, stepping a lot in the sociological jurisprudence work area and it is deciding about uh, social cases it is uh, deciding about uh, many ethical cases many religious issues and all and in this case of Mamta energy also where uh, it said that apology is demanded that is against its own previous judgments where freedom of expression was upheld so it is more of the issue of judicial activism when we talk about the NJAC case there also all polit political representatives they were in favor of NJAC but it was uh, declared as null and void by Supreme Court why because Supreme Court said that political interference cannot be there in a Indian case if you talk about the India's condition then certainly this thing is true that political in interference is negative and they want a committed judiciary always so that is the reason that all these parties they would demand a committed judiciary so they would be in favor of NJAC and that's why Supreme Court declared is null and void. And that was the specific case. But in this article, Markande Karjo and Aditya both, they say about the global standard and they talk about the standard that according to the particular standard globally, Supreme Court or the judiciary that should not overstep its positivist jurisprudence work area. And it should not decide too much on the basis of natural law. Because natural law, uh, according to some writers, natural law, it can prove everything and it can prove nothing this is said by uh, Kelson a, a legal luminary uh, in uh, Western countries and Bentham regarded natural law as a metaphysical nonsense according to him it is nonsense because it is not expertise and it is not decided according to the laws and it is about the discretion of the judges and when the discretion comes then the issue becomes personal and uh, uh, personally the judges decide about these cases and they actually overstep the positivist jurisprudence and here the issue comes of judicial activism so the judiciary should not be involved in over activism over judicial activism that is the case here that and that is problematic in the collegium system also where we are citing a lot of problems and a supreme court has accepted that collegium system is not a very good one we need a lot of reviews we need a lot of revisions here we need a lot of changes in that so that was also declared by supreme court in these judges cases in 93 and 98 and that was also its own case where it uh, decided on its own and it did not hear any other uh, case there so political uh, arguments were not taken here and it is all remained in the judicial uh, 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 capacity so in this case of collegium system in this case of njc in both the cases supreme court and the judiciary that maintained its exclusiveness and its its uh, confidential measures and its uh, authority 
that is to be upheld and political representatives and all they cannot suggest here they cannot interfere here that thing was maintained so as a global standard if you talk about and if you not, do not talk about india's specific case then this is overstepping by the judiciary and that should not happen and njc is being followed in many other countries not in the name of njc but uh, uh, political executives sorry these uh, political authorities and political representatives they have some say in the judges appointment but here in india this this thing is not possible so here supreme court is crossing some lines and this thing is uh, somewhat aggressive in a manner and uh, this is the article all about article 124 which prescribes how supreme court judges are to be appointed do not talk of any collegium system but that was upheld by supreme court and that is going on still there are tussles going on always there are troubles between the executive and the supreme court and this collegium body and that is why many things are halted but that thing is also true that parliament is not fulfilling its responsibility always the party which comes in opposition and they are always for the disruptions and uh, the party which is there in the government they wants to do things in arbitrary manner and this thing is true for always and for the last 30 40 years uh, this thing uh, we have seen and that is why the need comes for the judicial activism also writer says in the end that this exclusiveness and this activism it should be limited to some ex, uh, some rare cases like uh, 377 section when it was uh, uh, upheld as un uh, sorry uh, they decided about 377 that it, it is not punishable and homosexuality is not punishable it's not a crime so this thing was not given in the constitution anywhere and this thing is, was very new for the society also so here supreme court can go for this natural law issue but not in every case it should go for the natural law case and that actually makes supreme court as very very common institute and it is talking about everything every day we are hearing some uh, verdicts some directives here but uh, you see sometimes it is very necessary also it's a, so it's a perfect dilemma if you talk about the vishaka guidelines so these were given by supreme court and that was extremely necessary after the bhavri devi incident in the rajasthan uh, state so uh, these were brought up by supreme court only and that was based on natural law again and in the cases of environment also the natural law prevails there so njt was exclusively established for that and that works on the natural law basis so sometimes natural law is very very important where these things are ignored by the political classes and they will never decide about these cases because majority is not be is not going to be happy about that so that's why when we decide about supreme courts over uh, activism then we also have to take these cases into consideration like vishaka guideline 377 these are very important cases and important verdicts they have been given by the supreme court in the past so it's a long debate and it will go on and in uh, both the sides there will be arguments and it would be decided uh, after a long time taking process next the article is regarding the Indian Navy's uh, presence and its activi activism, the proactive stand it has taken. Many, many exercises are happening and everywhere we are active. We are active in the East China Sea, we are active in the South China Sea, we are active in the Indo-Pacific region and everywhere all these exercises are going on. You see, recently the fleet review in China and Qingdao, that happened where we uh, took part. And uh, after uh, returning from uh, this uh, particular exercise, group sale was conducted where we were with Japan and Philippines and United States. So it was somehow countering China's. But in this Qingdao case, we were with China. In Varuna exercise, we have sent our aircraft carriers with uh, France. We are doing this. Malabar exercise is also very, very important. And maximum exercises, they are in a way a response and a countering of China's activism in this area, in South China and in the Indian Ocean specifically. Although some uh, calmness we are observing these days from Chinese side and they are not that much active in the Indo-Pacific region. But in South China Sea, the issue remains there and China uh, is being very, very aggressive there. So some countering is needed there. But you see the closeness between India and America, that is also a different issue of debate because on the trade issues we are countering each other and a lot of escalation is going on and uh, after the elections we will see some important uh, decisions there but certainly in this area we are being very proactive and that's actually the need the dire need today because if we want to save our interests and we need to uh, remain very strong in this area and we need our contribution to the international trade going through the indo-pacific region then these activeness are uh, activities are needed 
and you see meanwhile south asian navies have been making their presence felt in the sea of subcontinent you see indian ocean region they are talking about and the quest for regional prominence that is being seen sri lanka is being active and you see uh, china is uh, helping sometimes uh, sri lanka uh, today we heard the news that uh, uh, in the uh, anti terror activities and in the anti terror approaches china is going to help sri lanka there so the help is also there in the indo pacific region so somehow these tactics are going on and the balance is needed there so when china is being circling india and it is uh, uh, being involved with all these smaller countries there although the cases of uh, debt trap is there but till now china is active there and it is countering india's interest so it's a need there that we that we uh, take part in all these exercises and mainly most of these exercises they are happening countering china's moves there so that is the issue there you see in the counter piracy missions of the coast of somalia where africa is there and uh, uh, this is the horn of africa it is somalia here and this area is very much infamous for these uh, uh, piracy uh, as these uh, pirates issues and all and they are disturbing the international trade going through this area so there we have contributed a lot we have contributed in disaster relief issues in mozambique here we have sent our ships there so uh, this is our great contribution so india's navy is very much respectable and very much active in this region and beijing's strategic ambitions in india's neighborhood these are also well known there so as a result india's navy and its bilateral exercises they have focused on undersea surveillance and anti submarine warfare also because china is, has become very advanced in this stealth capabilities and uh, the submarines and all and they are spying a lot and they are being very active here any kind of escalation happens then it has the great capability so we need to counter those stealth uh, capabilities also so that's why uh, taking part in these exercises becomes much more important there and you see india's refusal to participate in the bri may have also uh prompted china to rethink its economic and military strategies in the indian ocean region and after the wuhan summit we have seen that some softness we see in the indian ocean region but it's not a guarantee that it is not active in this region and maybe uh, under the ocean uh, it has been very very active so we need to be cautious here but certainly this uh, this order that we are maintaining that is good and we are moving from our rhetorical stance which used to be there that the world peace should be maintained and indo pacific should be used uh, as free for all the countries and uh, uh, these uh, restraints any kind of restraints or any kind of over observance should not be there but now we are moving from that stand and this is for the security concerns this is for our active concerns and this is for our dominance also which we want to create in this region and here some countries like japan australia uh, america they are helping us but you see they this these are their own interest and it, america is more interested in countering china than helping india so that we also should balance there so this is also a kind of a very fine balancing thing and we need to move here next clash of civilizations china says that it, it is for the first time that as an asian country is uh, uh, becoming a great rival for america and it is the first time that we are not caucasians we are mongolians and we are asians so it is a uh, first time uh, that america is countering these kind of uh, people so it's a, a kind of a very important mains issue where you they may ask you that uh, civilizations they are uh, becoming much more protective for their own spheres and every country is talking about the protectionism and western uh, dominance and the dominance of the white races it always have been a phenomena but now chinese are countering americans so this is a clash of civilizations this is a, uh, a famous uh, phrase these days so how much positive is that i don't see is positive i because the reaction to this uh, western dominance phenomena is been very aggressive so maybe it's a proud moment for asians that china is so much capable today that it is uh, challenging america on every stand but this uh, clash should not be there this clash actually that is word as that is used and uh, this is a negative one because we need cooperation we need world peace there and it can never be established by some kind of trade wars or some kind of uh, clashes of civilizations although this phenomena was really negative and this was no way true that western countries are better ones and western races white races are dominant one this is wrong totally wrong because we have uh, evidences today india is growing very uh, fast and china has grown very fast 
Russia is al also there. But you see, this a clash of civilizations. It's a different phenomena, and that should not be mixed with these kind of negativities. These things should uh, should uh, maintain their importances, and all are unique people. But the clashes should not be there. So they may ask you about uh, this issue in the main question that uh, it's a popular phenomena the clash of civilizations uh, is happening how do you see this phenomena developing in this world and what kind of negativities and positivities are uh, surrounding this issue and how do, how do uh, these countries they should behave in a sense that uh, the balance is maintained and uh, progress is maintained and peace is maintained next a geographical phenomena you see you do not see a sh uh, shade of these people here because the shadow is not there because sun is overhead and it is the time of end of may and june is coming 21st of june is the date when sun is vertically overhead on the on the tropical tropic of cancer that is going through india and when the vertical rays are there then there would be no shadow so it's a very uh, smart question in the prelims examination that they may ask you that uh, what is the time when you do not see any shadow of any person this is the only time when sun is overhead so uh, whether it's a night or it's a peak of the daytime where you would see this kind of condition in summers okay so they may ask about that the movement uh, is uh, towards the tropic of cancer till 21st of june and after that it reverses so this is all part of culture also and for the geography also for the science also teenager takes own life after instagram poll very unfortunate incident the issue is of the ethics and the maturity that is nowhere seen on the social media media platform it's totally unrestrained and any person is accessing a social media there whether that, that person has some mind or not and you see teenagers they are being very very vulnerable many many uh, issues we have seen you see blue whale challenge momo challenge we have seen and it is taking life of the teens and now on the instagram poll somebody uh, put a poll that whether i should end my life or not 69 percent shockingly 69 percent of votes cast were in favor of her ending her life so this is really really horrible and some uh, surveillance is needed there because this issue really is uh, going out of our hands and we are actually losing this opportunity great great opportunity of our uh, time in lives where we were much so much capable and now still we are much more capable that we can use this much fast technology the world is so connected and internet is a new god there and it is so fast the age but alongside of it there are very harsh realities and very horrible misuses are there in the time of depression in the time of negativity when people are active on social media so they do these kind of things they follow these kind of ideas and all recently we saw an incident where a girl was uh, consistently watching suicidal videos and all and she was so much provoked that she took her life so it's a very important essay topic very important mains topic that how do we go towards the positivity how do we uh, stop these things from happening and what kind of maturity is needed and how do we spread this maturity and how do we stop these kind of uh, dirty tactics and very horrible things on the internet and the social media it's a huge issue and a totally negative one and things are going out of our hands so parents has responsibility peers has respons responsibility and the biggest responsibility is there with the mature friends because always the immature people they take their lives here so that's the issue you see you must have seen some videos uh, for the popularity that they are jumping off the high-rise buildings and this, this started from the uh, uh, russian uh, teens and it is spreading all over the world in in, in india also we've seen many groups where some people were died because they were following some videos where uh, uh, students are uh, standing on some high-rise uh, mobile towers and they are shooting their selfie videos and many are killed because these are foolishness and it is taking about this precious life so some awareness is certainly needed here these data regarding the world cup past world cup data they can be asked it is the time when the world cup is about to start and these are the questions so thanks a lot keep watching it was amit sani and look for the answers and look for the additional data there thanks a lot keep watching it was amit sani and please send me a uh, uh, feedback of these lessons also i'm trying my best that in minimum time i, I can give you maximum information there